behavioral economical tools, I think for government, has the possibility to create a more um, complex perspective on the challenges that we work with as policymakers. Because the individuals that we work with, even though we like to look at them as a, as a whole, as, as the public, are very different and the challenges that they have are very different. So aligning policy making with that is, is complex and I think you need a, a broader and a, and a different perspective than just the desk research and statistics. The potential of behavioral economics is, in terms of policy making, is one, to create initial perspectives that will change the way that we look at, at, at policy problems and policy issues. But I think it will also tap into the fact that the world is constantly changing, the society is constantly changing, and your policy needs to follow uh, behavioral change within the public. I think the big issue for policy making in, in relation to, to behavioral insights is that it introduces a complexity uh, that will be very difficult for, for governments to handle because they want this evidence-based approach uh, and even though we call uh, behavioral economics or behavioral insights evidence-based, it's still on a very small uh, population that we do these tests and scaling it up in a complex environment is not evidence-based. So really embracing the idea that you have uh, non-predictive outcomes uh, and, and the continuous uh, adjustments of your policy needed if you follow through on, on behavioral economics. But that would definitely be one of the biggest issues for, for policy making and politicians uh, in general.